you guys welcome back to another vlog it's maggie if you are new to my youtube channel i'm leaving well just got back from getting coffee with mac and i am leaving to go run a ton of errands today i just feel so like overwhelmed and stressed i've had a lot that's just been like going on behind the scenes that I haven't I haven't really been vlogging that much as I usually do and I've talked about this before in like a couple videos not my last vlog but the vlog before also sorry that I'm like out of breath and like trying to figure out how to put the AC on in my car it's legit not 102 degrees right now we have like the biggest heat wave in Boston I don't ever remember it being this hot like for this many days in a row it's insane and i just carried so many boxes like huge boxes down from my apartment because i have to go to the post office i need to bring like three different packages to the post office to ship stuff back i also have been like just dealing with a few different things which i really don't mean to like complain about this or like this isn't coming from like a bad negative place I genuinely just want to like tell you guys what I've been going through and I feel like I've been like very patient with all of this I haven't really been letting it like get to me or bother me um, but today I just feel like or yesterday it kind of just hit me I'm like what the fuck is going on like what I've been like trying to be so patient but basically yesterday I was supposed to get my new washer and dryer installed in my apartment because I haven't had laundry for like um, almost two months and I've been going to the laundromat getting my laundry done there which is fine like I've been very patient about it but yesterday finally the new washer and dryer were supposed to get installed and they came to install it they looked at my old washer and dryer and just like the closet that it's in in my apartment and there's also a heater like a water tank something for the AC like there's so many different things in this one tiny little closet and the guy looked at me and was like this is like six years six or seven years um, past code like I can't install this it will make something to do with like carbon dioxide and just like too many watts in the closet and I was just like oh my god so he called my landlord now I don't have laundry for even longer I just have so much stuff piled up in my apartment um, which has just been kind of frustrating because I just like pay so much money to live in my apartment and I've had so many issues I guess it's kind of just like at the point where I had just re-signed my lease and it's been only a month into my like my new lease for the next year and I just have so many issues that I'm like why did I resign the lease I wanted to like make it easy on myself and like not move and not go to a different place like I was like you know what I'll just stay in my apartment that I'm in that I've been in I don't know it's just been like annoying and a lot of the stuff that has happened I like don't even I haven't even vlogged about but there's just been so many issues also my ice machine doesn't work the washer and dryer we have that couch in there forever that he made me pay to get taken out um, even though it wasn't my couch. His stuff's just everywhere. Stuff is falling apart, like cabinets have fallen off. There's just been so much stuff where I'm like, it's been a lot. Also, on top of all of it, look what, at my windshield in my car. This has also been like this for like two months. Don't even ask, Graydon and I, long story, we were leaving a parking garage and two cars were in front of us and the first car couldn't get the gate to open. It was like five minutes and so the parking attendant came over, opened it up and we were like, okay, it must be broken because that car drove through, the car behind him drove through and usually like it'll close after each car and so we thought it's broken since two cars had gone that we all could just go and so I started going and it starts closing on my car and my windshield shattered um, so that has also been back ordered to get fixed and that should be getting fixed soon so I don't know there's just been like a lot of little things going on I just feel overwhelmed and I have so many like little projects I'm working on but I also have like little things and like little day-to-day -day tasks in my normal life that I feel like I need to get done so I am like not stressed and then I put off like the actual projects and like work stuff that like I really 
am passionate about and want to work on. So basically, like, I just need help. I need an assistant. Like, I, I just feel like I'm doing too much. And I feel like I have been trying to do a lot of stuff by myself. And moral of the story, it is okay to ask for help and to not be able to, like, do everything on your own because it's not possible and it's too stressful. And uh, that is that. But I do want to mention before we get into this vlog, I'm going to go run some errands and bring you guys along my day, which I am excited about to do another little daily vlog, just bring you guys along what I'm up to today in Boston. And I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I've worked with them in the past and I really love them. They are an online counseling program, so you can connect with a therapist. They have over 20,000 and you can talk to them via video chat chat phone call whatever you prefer everything is confidential and it's just nice to have somebody to talk to to like let all your stress out like I even feel bad complaining about all this stuff and talking to you guys about it because I'm like I don't want to seem like ungrateful or being negative or like I'm complaining like I know that there's bigger things going on in the world but also like we shouldn't disregard how things make us feel so I just wanted to like let you guys know like stuff that I've been going through in case you have been going through something similar because I know when people post their life online it looks like it's all picture perfect but I've been like dealing with so many like little real life things behind the scenes that I just wanted to open up about um, but it is nice to talk to somebody who's not a family member or a friend so you don't feel like you're like unloading all of your problems on them and it's just nice to talk to a licensed professional because they can be really helpful if you're suffering with like stress or anxiety depression anything like that and you basically fill out a questionnaire and you'll get matched with the right therapist for you and if it doesn't work out you can switch at any time it's super easy and yeah I do have a discount code for you guys you can go to betterhelp.com that's better h-e-l-p.com slash maggie mac and you'll get 10% off I'll also leave all the information down below in the description so you guys can check it out but I wanted to talk about just everything that I've been going through kind of like a little life, life update um, because I haven't been consistently vlogging like I normally have in the past this summer and that's just what's up um, but everything else in my life is good <laughs> except for just like the things that those things that I just talked about but everything else is perfect and I guess now I'm just kind of figuring out like I my whole living situation because I don't know what is gonna happen with this whole washer and dryer thing like if it can't get fixed I'm gonna have to ask my landlord like you know what can we see if we can figure something out where I can leave by September 1st move into a new place and you can have someone else come in and move in because I just don't know if I can deal with this any longer and um, that's that but um, anyway first stop on the list you know I need to eat I haven't eaten today yet so I think we're gonna go get some lunch just got to Greystone and it's literally the rain has let up a little bit but it just started downpouring and I need to go in and get my sandwich I did notice though that my crack is leaking Honestly, thank God I have a tinted windshield. If my windshield wasn't tinted, this whole thing would be like completely destroyed and not be able to be driven. But I do have a little leak coming in because the rain was just so hard. And I was like, what is that? But honestly, I'm so happy about the rain. It's been so hot lately. So I hope that this just helps it cool down a bit. I got the turkey sandwich. Greystone has my favorite sandwiches. I haven't been as often as I used to go. So I'm really excited for this today. I got it on sourdough. Look how stunning that is. So good. They put bacon on it. Oh, it's amazing. I've been like in my sandwich era this summer. I feel like I've just been eating so many sandwiches and I am not mad about it. This looks so good. I just got to the south end. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done they need to be done so bad i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but they are so so overgrown but the neighborhood that i get my eyebrows done in is so cute like look at these brownstone apartments oh i just love this area so much 
I'm obsessed with it, but this is where I get my eyebrows done, right over here. film some content i came into the bathroom because i was like you know what am i gonna wash my makeup off or should i just leave it on because i did a little bit of blush and concealer lip liner bronzer mascara nothing too crazy but that's what i did also my eyebrows look so good the place that i went to the girl did such a good job i go to i adore threading i don't know if i said that earlier but i I'm home now. I got a pedicure. Literally one of the best pedicures I've ever gotten in my life. My feet feel so soft. I got this red color and I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. I went to Whole Foods and I bought stuff to make tacos, which I think I'm gonna end up making tomorrow because I have a ton of leftovers from last night. I made homemade rigatoni with vodka sauce. So I think I'm probably gonna just end up having that tonight, but I have a ton of stuff to make banana bread so i may make a little bit of banana bread because i need to use up my bananas that are in the kitchen right now so i think we're gonna go do that but i you know what i'm not gonna take my makeup off because i'll just wait until i shower later tonight but i do want to get my hair out of my face because i'm gonna be baking and i don't want my hair to get into my banana bar. I want to wear my little clip one. I had a little MEJ um, clip with strawberries on it. But I literally don't know where it is. I am making the banana bread now. These are the bananas that I have been waiting to use so I can make this banana bread and I'm using Emma's banana bread recipe which she found on Pinterest so if you just look up Emma McDonald's banana bread on Pinterest I guess it comes up or you can pause this and screenshot it or take a picture but this is what I am using in the recipe that I'm gonna go by so we have vanilla extract cinnamon salt baking soda flour baking powder coconut oil maple syrup and you can add chocolate chips that's optional i don't think i'm gonna but if you want to you can add it okay so the first step i'm gonna add three very ripe make sure they're very ripe because it'll add some sweetness to the banana bread right emma <laughs> no it's literally just called banana bread no, I know that, but I just was saying because why. This is the sugar and the maple syrup. Then why are you supposed to use ripe bananas? I thought they like taste because a little bit sweeter. Because if you use a hard banana, they won't mash. Oh. It would be like chunky banana bread unless you want chunky banana bread. Oh. What about like putting bananas on top? Do you do that? No. You know how you can though? Yeah. If you want to, you can. I just have two extra bananas because your recipe has um, three. And then we're going to do a third. You can make muffins with the other one. Oh, true. And then we're going to do three-fourths cup of maple syrup. I actually think I want to mash these before I add the maple syrup in. Okay, so I added in the maple syrup. We did three fourths cup, and I'm just mixing this in with the banana. And then we're also gonna do a tablespoon, right? A tablespoon? A teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is one of my favorite things in the world. I love vanilla, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of that. And then in the microwave, I have some... Wait, where did it go? <laughs> it's right here. 
And then I have some melted coconut oil. This is half a cup we're gonna add into here as well. Oh, so you put all of the dry ingredients into a blender? Yeah. Okay, so Emma's tip is to put all of the dry ingredients into a blender. So I'm gonna do one cup of oats and one cup of flour. And you can definitely use a gluten-free flour if you want, and then this recipe will be like vegan and gluten-free. But I'm just using normal flour. And once all of the flour and the oats are in your blender, you're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt. This is my favorite salt, Emma, remember? Celtic salt. You called it... <laughs> Remember? No? And then we're gonna do a tablespoon. <laughs> I don't even think I have enough cinnamon for a tablespoon of cinnamon. Vietnamese cinnamon is not the same as regular. I swear. Okay, so we're gonna do a whole entire tablespoon of cinnamon. I found another one. I thought that I ran out. We're also gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. done editing a vlog i'm gonna continue editing probably do this video whoa i'm probably gonna edit this video and a previous vlog that i have before oh, my nose being crazy but um i actually might only edit one video and then i'm gonna read some of my book because i need to like get off my computer get away from the blue light before i go to bed um, but I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in my life Let me know how you like this video, please because I feel like in my head I have been in such like a vlogging rut But when I edit videos and I look back at the footage, I'm like I'm being so hard on myself So let me know how you liked this vlog. Also, let me know what you want to see from me moving forward whether that's like content in a vlog um something else you want to see on my channel stuff on my instagram so let me know but anyway thank you guys so so much for watching i love you subscribe if you are not already to my channel and i'll see you in my next vlog bye guys